Valentine's Day. A day of love, right in the middle of Black History Month. I'm afraid I have some terrible news. <gasps> I have dinner reservations and no one to go with. Ida, you awake? It's a beautiful day. Mm, yeah, I'm just glad I didn't die from that weird sleep-breathing thing I have. I was thinking, let's do something we've never done before. Release the virus? No, I was thinking we could spend the whole day in bed. Wow, Meg, you look nice. You got a date? Yeah, I totally hit it off with this great guy in the internet, and we're finally gonna meet. Toby? Meg? Hi! Wow, you look just like your picture. You don't look anything like yours. I like him. Really? Seems kind of lame. But I guess every girl has her own version of Prince Charming. You're still here? Yeah. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly you're not familiar with how this works. You're gonna get what you deserve! You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. <laughs> That's weird. Why do I look like a chick in that mirror? Son of a bitch. Oh, hey, Joe. God, I thought I was in trouble for a minute. You were going too sexy in a 35 zone. <laughs> I'm just having fun. In fact, as I say to all the ladies, giggity, giggity. You don't say that. I say that. You're a bad person. And in honor of Valentine's Day, I thought, why not go back in time to that summer of love in the 60s that everyone's always talking about? Oh, cool. Well, here we are, Rupert. Quahog's Summer of Love. Hello. Oh, this must be yours. Thanks. My God, she's incredible. I can't let her get away. I wanted to do this. There's my little Lois. Lois! None of your business what happened! Jeez, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Yes, I like Coldplay. God, Toby, I can't believe how much we have in common. It's like we were meant to find each other. I know. Toby, what happened? Oh, I just harvested your kidney. Toby, I can't believe you took my kidney. You bastard! Sorry, Meg. Black market organs are big money, and I promised my boss is a fresh kidney. A uh, quagmire loaned me this book called the Kama Sutra. It's Indian. And who has better sex than people who don't use toilet paper? These candles are getting wax all over the floor. That's okay. Isn't Consuela coming today? No, she spends Valentine's Day with her husband. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, one. Hi. Oh, hey, um, I think I might have the wrong address. I'm looking for Mr. Herbert's house. No, you're at the right house. I'm just here to collect for the newspaper. Here you go. Your fly's up again. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Herbert. So, what seems to be the trouble? Dr. Hartman, something's wrong with me. Everyone's treating me like I'm a broad. Everyone sees me as a woman. Oh, no. This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time. No Valentine's Day plans? No. I've had it with Valentine's Day. I'm sick of all of it. Okay, I'm putting on my friend hat. What's the matter? Stewie, what the hell? These are all my ex-girlfriends. The word self-absorbed comes to mind. And pretentious. Definitely pretentious. And he's got a big ego. Okay, we seem to have a theme going here. He's insecure. And a blowhard. And he's got a tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty clear by the survey. Your vomit tastes weird. You don't even know why you're here. You chose to be on the hills. You still have bits of penis left, and you can never get wet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it? That's it? This is so much easier. I, I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. Yeah, I gotta take this. Who's calling? My ex-girlfriend. She calls me drunk every Valentine's Day. Hey, Samantha. What, I don't know if I can make eight, but I can certainly do six? What about Lois? She's totally out of the picture. We've done everything but sign the papers. What's not clear about Get Lost? By the way, my attendance at home is gonna be spotty over the next few weeks. Something you need to see! My wife is seeing another mayor. Unhand that woman, you bastard! <gasps> Adam! Well, well, well. If it isn't Mayor Guns for Toys West. Oh, Adam, I'm so sorry. Carol, I love you, and I can't live without you. Please, never let this happen again. Is somebody out there? 
Chris, it's me, Uncle Herbert's granny, Sandy. Oh, hi, Sandy. What's up? I know I'm not much to look at. And ever since I got banned from the arcade, I don't know what I'm doing. But if you're up for it, I'd like to spend some time with you. Well, guess I better be going. I gotta get this heart to Madonna. My kidney! I wanted you to have it. Oh, Toby, I love it! Thank you! Oh, Peta, it was fun spending the day in bed with you. It sure was, Lois. Happy Valentine's Day. Who was that half-Persian chick who was dancing with your cousin? Uh, I think her name was Flora. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just a rear end. We all have one. Mine just happens to be a hot Brazilian woman's. Man, high school is rough. This year it's sneakers. Last year it was all about being overweight and wearing a baseball cap. That was a fun birthday party, huh, Stewie? That kid was Indian and 11 years old. Where are you finding my friends? God, who is this enchantress? It's like her voice is putting my entire body in her mouth. You like that, Stewie? You like Anne Murray's music? Do I? I've never known such happiness. Mom, Dad, I need to get new sneakers. Shut up and stop complaining. When I was your age, I didn't even have sneakers. We wore stale hamburger buns. All right, Rupert, you ready to get lost in some Anne? What a woman. To think Canada's got her and we have Kelly Clarkson going to town at a Waffle House. That's it. I'm getting those sneakers. Oh, come on, Dad. There's no cash in here. Damon, it's Peter. I'm at my date, and I left my wallet at home. Will you please borrow your mom's car, drive to my house, get my wallet, and bring it back here? Come on, just do me this one favor. All right, but you owe me for this one. Oh, thanks, Damon. And that was the last we ever saw of him. Listen, I saw you steal money from Mom's purse. Oh. Well, I was just trying to get new sneakers. You're not going to tell on me, are you? Mom! Chris took money out of the- Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Here's a list of stuff I need you to do for me. What the hell? Are you listening to Anne Murray? Uh, I am experiencing Anne Murray. Why? That music is complete crap. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to make a believer out of you, Brian. I'm going to show you the true meaning of Anne Murray. Don't waste your time. I'm not going to change my mind. Well, now you have to watch An Officer and a Gentleman with me. At the end, when Richard Gere carries Deborah Winger out of the paper mill, you have to read what's on this index card. That's gonna be you someday, Meg. I know it will! I just know it will! Ah! What happened to your eye? Ah! You look like one of those blind jazz guys! Where are you? I can't see anything! What the hell is all this? This is history, Brian. A key moment in the history of happiness. Have a seat. You cleared my mind I sold my soul To face the world Out on my own again Say that I could almost see eternity Some hardcore right? Wow! Thank you for turning me on to something so amazing! Okay, Meg, I stood outside Planned Parenthood for 36 hours, and here are the pictures of every girl in your class who went in. All right, good. Now, here's my post office key. I need you to go downtown and get the stuff for my P.O. box. You... you don't get your mail here? Oh, that's it! I'm not... I'm not doing any more of your crap, Meg. You have no choice. I'll just go tell Mom and Dad about the money, and they'll ground your ass... Where are you going, Chris? Wait, who are you gonna turn to? You don't even have any friends! I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Good night, Mr. Herbert. Sweet dreams, Chris. Mr. Herbert, what's life really all about? But don't you think it's scary to try new things? No, Chris. Life is like a new baseball glove. Sorry. You really know how to waste a Cialis, don't you? But the lyrics are so dark. I'm, I'm sorry, are we both listening to Snowbird as recorded by Miss Anne Murray? Yeah. What I hear is that the woman is starting to hate life. You know the line, now I feel such emptiness within? Yeah, I know the song. Well, Anne Murray feels old. Look, there's only one way to settle this. Only the artist knows the true meaning of their art. Oh, hi, Meg. Could you tell Chris breakfast is ready? 
Oh, um, I, I think he got up early. He, um, I'm sure he'll be home later. Well, I hope so. We were supposed to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I was trying to find a good movie to watch. I've never even heard of most of these. Jeffrey at the Park? Mikey's Scoliosis Exam? Geez, I'm sorry. Well, can we watch Lost Boys? I've heard of that one. Those? Those are different Lost Boys. Whoa, 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 why do you get to ring it? Because I was into her first. Let's flip for it, or... or I can't believe you did that. I cannot believe you just did that. Well, I'm glad you enjoy my music. Would you like to come in? We'd love to. Wow, nothing says success like free on a Tuesday at 3 p.m. You know, I think you're both kind of right. I guess I always thought it was about human limitation, both mental and physical. That just blew my face off. But I suppose Gene probably could have explained it better than I. Who's Gene? Gene McClellan. He wrote the song. So you're just a big liar. Sit back down. All right, come on, Stewie, let's go home. A bunch of frauds and charlatans! You want to be a puppet? Then sing for your life, puppet! Come on, spread your tiny wings and fly away! Forever is untrue And if I could, you know that I would fly away with you I haven't seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. Hey, bozos! What do you think of this? <laughs> I did it! I did it! Then why aren't you dressed? We're supposed to have dinner with Judge Maynard and Timmy! Yeah, okay, as soon as I finish this level. No! Get your coat on, Chris. I... I think it's time for you to go. Okay. Oh my god, Chris! Oh, there you are! I've been looking all over for you! Why? You want to humiliate me with more slave work? I said a lot of stupid things I didn't mean, Chris. But I miss you. Thanks, Meg. I miss you, too. You think you can ever forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. <laughs> we broke up! I made a birdhouse at school today. Well, I'll be on the lookout for great tits. Peter! Well, actually, Lois, that's a species of bird. Maybe we can get the birds to act out the Benson where a scheduling snafu forces the governor to decide between meeting the president or going to Katie's school play. Judge! You built a great birdhouse, son. I'm real proud of you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> that super bird ruined everything! Indeed, a force to be reckoned with, like Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu. Has anyone seen your father? It's almost six o'clock. I am here. Family, I want you to meet my falcon, Xerxes. I am a falconer, and I will eat whatever Xerxes brings me. Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, ah, what the hell? Hey, what do you got going on down here, Quagmire? You, you got a you got a rodent situation? Well, just hope he's not standing on your soft spot. Well, is that possible? Ah! <laughs> I think you know what I want. This is awesome. I represent the man whose sidecar motorcycle you stole yesterday and is suing you for everything you've got, including the Falcon. No! Hello, American Airlines Magazine? Have I got a scoop for you? Falcon stolen? Ew, there's a toenail in this. Now what are we gonna do? We have no money. Well, that's okay, Lois. We got a wonderful family. No, we don't. There's Meg and Dummy and Big Head. Excuse me, would you mind taking a look at my resume? I want to make sure it's formatted correctly. You have an amazing speaking voice. My name's Randy. I can get you steady work with a voice like that. Really? I got discovered today. I could be one of those famous voiceover artists you hear on TV or in the movies. Ugh, her doing voiceover? I can't believe I'm a celebrity now. Well, I have a feeling you're going to be a big star here. I can't do this. It pays two grand a week, sweetie. Oh, my God. All right, Lois, you know the drill. And whatever you do, do not mention computers or the internet. They cannot know about it. Listen, I want to double team you on the phone with my son. Ow. Yeah, the family's kind of falling apart, and I'm just, uh... Hey, Lois. So, how was your first day of voiceover? Eh, it was nothing. Turns out I'm just doing very obscure European commercials. Hi, my name's Classy. Oh, hi, Classy. One. Oh, that's nice. Two. Oh, Oh, my. You got a handkerchief? Uh, yeah. Good. Ball that up and stick it in your mouth. Uh-huh. Did you get a packet from HR when you started working there? Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's start filling up some other places. 
Peter, I've had a long day at work, and right now, sex is the last thing I want to think about. What the hell, Lois? You never want to do it no more. Lois barely wants to do it no more. I'm going crazy here. Ugh, I hear you. Hey, Quagmire, do yourself a favor. Don't get married. I wasn't gonna. You know, Peter, I got just the thing for you. There's this new phone sex chick I've been calling, and she is amazing. She is. I don't know. It, isn't that cheating on Lois? I'd like to see some vaginas, please. That's what we're here for. Come on in. Hello there, handsome. I'm classy. Um, hi, classy. I'm, uh, Peter. You want to see some pictures that I drew? Um, sure. This is me on an elephant. Wow, that's beautiful. You're really talented.